The right coronary artery is the artery that courses towards the diaphragmatic surface of the heart along the right portion of the coronary sulcus. If we follow its course from its origin, we can see that it originates from the right sinus of the aorta or the right sinus of Valsalva. After its emergence, it descends down the coronary sulcus on the right side, just between the right atrium and the right ventricle. Most commonly, until it reaches the inferior surface of the heart, which it supplies in most cases. Along its course, the right coronary artery gives off numerous branches. If we examine the right coronary artery next to its origin, we can see a branch that courses over the outlet of the right ventricle, also known as the conus arteriosus, supplying blood to this region. This is known as the conal branch, or the conus arteriosus artery, and it is one of the first branches of the right coronary artery. As we go along the right coronary artery, RCA, we can see that it gives off a branch that courses behind the right auricle just next to the aorta. This branch, if followed, can be seen to go around the superior vena cava before turning around on the outer aspect of the right atrium towards the SA node, which it supplies with blood. This branch is known as the sinuatrial nodal branch of the right coronary artery. Moving along the right coronary artery further, we can see that it gives some branches that extend towards the right atrium, which they supply. These are known as the atrial branches of the right coronary artery. Looking further along the right coronary artery, we can see some branches that extend over the right ventricle, or the anterior wall of the heart. These are known as anterior ventricular branches of the right coronary artery. Examining the right ventricle along the right margin of the heart more closely, we observe an artery coursing along this margin, originating from the right coronary artery extending towards the apex of the heart. This artery is known as the right marginal branch of the right coronary artery. As the right coronary artery advances towards the base or diaphragmatic surface of the heart, it gives off further branches. One of the most prominent branches, typically continuing from the right coronary artery, is the inferior interventricular artery. This artery derives its name from its course along the inferior posterior aspect of the heart in the inferior interventricular groove, supplying the inferior surface of the heart. This artery is also known as the posterior descending artery. From the inferior interventricular artery, a few branches branch off to supply the lower third of the interventricular septum. These branches, originating from the inferior interventricular artery, are known as the septal branches of the inferior interventricular artery. If we examine the right coronary artery closer to its end, near the area where the inferior interventricular sulcus meets the coronary sulcus, we can see that it sends a small branch upwards. This branch extends towards a critical structure of the nodal tissue, the atrioventricular, AV node, to supply it with blood. This artery is known as the atrioventricular nodal branch of the right coronary artery. Most commonly, as the right coronary artery extends towards the left ventricle, beyond the inferior interventricular sulcus, it may give rise to a branch. This is known as the right inferolateral branch of the right coronary artery, also known as the right posterolateral branch. This concludes our discussion about the right coronary artery.